Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining. This video is going up just a little bit later than I would usually like to. It's because we had visitors in town, specifically visitors who are thinking about moving to Southwest Florida, which is amazing. So we really made it a point to work while they visited and while we played so we could kind of show them some of the amazing things to offer down here in Southwest Florida. So one of the obvious perks of living in the great state of Florida is the fact that you can be so close to the water and really feel like you are on vacation all the time. The Gulf of Mexico offers beautiful blue crystal clear water to its patrons and visitors and the weather lets people enjoy it even in January when people are breaking out their winter coats up north. Trust me, I know we are from Illinois and it gets cold up there in the winter time, but guess where it doesn't get cold? Down here in Florida, specifically Southwest Florida. So boat life is the best life when you get this close to the Gulf. One of the first thing that comes to mind, came to our mind when we moved here was, how do I get out on the water? Well, you buy a boat, of course. Not so easy, just find a friend who has a boat. That'll do just as well, wink, wink. Um, all along the coast, Florida residents take boating life very seriously. There is always a party out on the water and one awesome option is to go out on one of the many sandbars that Southwest Florida and all of Florida coast has to offer. My favorite is out on the Boca Grande Causeway it is really known for its crystal clear waters and it looks like i'm telling you the waters that you see in hawaii which is just amazing if you've been there before one of my other favorite places to go the boca grand causeway has a beautiful iconic railroad trestle backdrop it was built in 1907 and used to transport phosphates to chip ships docked in the pass it had been operational all the way up until about the 1970s when business started to decline a little bit. The area is loved by visitors and locals and a great place for people watching, snorkeling, wading in the water, and partying like you're on your own private island. It is truly amazing. This past Memorial Day weekend, we spoke to one of our local friends who has been here for years and years and said that this was the most people that he's seen out there ever. There was probably, we're guessing, close to 10,000 people out there. There was a huge uh, boat that had a band playing on it. Lots of people um, sharing their you know, American flags and kind of paying tribute to those who fight for us and make our country the great free country that it is. So what I decided to do this time was show you just a little bit of our experience out there. I'll probably have to do like a two or three parter because we do like to go out there a lot and there's so much more that you could see, but I'm going to show you a little bit of it and make sure that you peep a little bit because there are some nice little dolphin friends just swimming in the background. So let's go take a look at that experience. It was epic. So this week for my video, I figured I would showcase some of the things that happen out on the water. And there is a huge party for Memorial Day weekend. And so we're out here just Boca Grande Island is right behind us. And then over here is Don Pedro. Kevin, this is crazy. And then behind us is there's probably 10,000 people in the state of Florida enjoying this beautiful weather and a band. So I'm going to try to show you a little bit of that here.
make sure I look okay. What I usually do in the mirror. There are always lots of celebrations out on the water, but one of my favorite places is the Boca Grand Causeway.